testing audio one two three audio appears to be working um, we will be starting shortly here very shortly um, as soon as I can figure out who I am and what I want to do with my life all right I think we're good to go all right let's go ahead and get started here um, by doing this this and one other thing I can't tell you about no I'm just kidding um, okay, uh, hello and welcome to the stream. Now, you notice I've got the, you know, mind test stuff going on here, and we talked about mind test stuff last time, so you might think this stream would be about mind test. Of course, it's not. Um, by the way, I did not measure my blood sugar before starting the stream, so I could, in theory, go hypoglycemic and die on stream, although it actually, there is some warning there where I have a chance to eat something, but if I'm really, really into the math, I might not. So there's something to look forward to. Now instead, we're going to talk about uh, super permutation theory with matrices, which sounds like a really, really difficult thing to do, but it actually it might not even be the right name for the thing that I'm trying to do, and it's also stupid. Um, okay, so I'm going to give a little bit of background on this uh, to waste your time, uh, and also to mention the evil Professor Chibs, who is a wonderful Twitter streamer, mathematical genius, always very kind to me and says that I'm smarter than him. It's not true. He's much smarter than I am. He teaches at a real university, uh, whereas I used to teach at a real university, but it became imaginary because I multiplied it. Never mind. Um, so, so a little bit of a background on this for no good. Oh, and right, the, the reason Professor Chibs is evil is just for fun. I wanted to give him a, a problem I thought was kind of interesting and hard and see if he could solve it. Well, one that I think I'd solved before, but maybe hadn't actually. Um, and it turns out that I got interested in the problem myself, which, which really sucks. Um, so that 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 was the that's kind of a bad thing here. Um, so the problem is is actually pretty simple um, to state at least. Uh, consider a two by two grid. And let's see if I can do this on something that looks a little bit nicer. Um, why why is it that every time I try to figure out a good pro program to um, to do something on? Well, it's because I'm stupid, that's why. Um, all right, let's see if we can find, I guess GeoGebra, but this is not actually what I want. Well, let's let's try it. And I do have an account, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. Okay. Um, I kinda wonder what they are now. <gasps> Shiny! That looks gorgeous. We don't need it, though. Um, Starting from here to here, delete. Delete every... You know, I could just do new, couldn't I? But I like deleting things. It's in my blood. It's not in my blood, obviously. That would be silly. Um, well, I guess you could... Ar Never mind. I'm going f even more further astray than I want to. All right, so let's... Um, let's see if we can do... Sh no, I didn't want that. I want text. Uh, which I can't get, which is fine. Okay which maybe is the one thing this doesn't do well. I want to create a box of text. I want to create a rectangle. I want my life to have meaning. Wow. Regular poly... Well, okay, it is a regular polygon, but I want to do a little bit better than that. Yep, not a great... Pl Why do every single freaking time I never find what I need? Ah... Uh, I mean, no, we want to leave this page. So good, this will waste some extra time here. I think maybe Sketchpad will do what I want. And go fuck yourself. And make yourself small. Ooh. Dude. There must be a way to get rid of this little stupid thing, right? Um, so from too simple to too fancy, I want to draw... Crop and resize. I want to draw a square. Piece of shit. Okay, pencil. We can at least go there. That's that's okay. Star, pencil, clip art, vector fill. Oh, there we go. Um, layers. Yep, this is way too fancy. We need to find one that's just right. Um...
Okay. This should be fine. Now imagine a 2x2 two two grid. And you have three colors, or three letters if you prefer. Um, red, green, and blue. Which I hopefully I can type out is without having to write them. Well, I will. I guess I'll just write them out. R, G, B. Okay. Now, if you wanted to fill these four squares with RGB in any possible combination, there's three things you can put here, three things you can put here, three things you can put here, three things you can put here. That's 81 total combinations. So let's write that down. But now, let's say that you had the combination, I'm going to regret this, R, G, R, B. Now let's say that if you had this combination, you're also allowed to rotate this to the left. In other words, you're allowed to move B over here to G, G over here to R, R over here to the other R, and R over here to B. Um, that, that's a leftward rotation. Um, and also suppose that you were allowed to rotate more than one time if you wanted to, and you were allowed to flip. In other words, you were allowed to flip this R as a different operation, R to G and this G back to R, and, and get these two to flip as well. I don't know if that's a good, this is a terrible drawing, but um, the general idea is um, you're given combinations, of the 81 combinations of RGB, some of them uh, you know, if you take two of them at a time, some of them you can reach one combination from an existing combination. Um, so, for example, in this case, you can reach... Oh, God. I don't even know. Yep, I'm going to do it this way. Sorry. All right, let's go back to here. So let's say you had this 2x2 two two grid. Now, if you do a leftward rotation, this GO... Oh. Right, if we did a leftward rotation... This R here would leftward rotate down to here, so we'll put that down here. Um, this G would move over to the first position here. This G would loop up to here. And this R would, because we're going counterclockwise, end up here. So we could say that a leftward rotation of RGRG will give you GGRR. Um, a rightward rotation, God, have I, am I going to really regret this? I probably am. This R goes to here. This G goes down to here, so it's still a G. Um, this R now goes up here, because we're doing counterclockwise uh, this time. And then... What's when a G goes over here? So in other words, you can also get out of this R, R, G, G. Um, so of the 81 total combinations, some of them you can use rotation to get to others. And now the flip one, let's say we just flipped RNG here and RNG here, that would give you GR, GR. Um, which I think is different from everything we have here. Okay, cool, yeah. And then if we wanted to flip, we could also flip uh, horizontally. But in this case, RG and RG are the same, so it wouldn't change anything. This RG, RG would go down here, this RG would go down up here, and they're, they're the same. Um, so the question is, um, the, the sort of non-mathematical way of saying it is, um, what's the minimum number of combinations you need such that by flipping and rotating, perhaps more than once, uh, you can get all 81 combinations? And the answer is, I don't know. And um, what Professor Chibbs, the evil genius, suggested was brute forcing this, in which for actually for um, 81 total combinations, that's very reasonable. Now, of course, you could see where you could do this with more than a 2x2 two two grid. You'd have a 3x3 three three grid, or generically an n-by-n n grid. You also could have more than three colors. And if you're, you know, obviously they don't have to be colors. They could be numbers, elements of a set, whatever. Um, so if you have an n-by-n n matrix with m colors, what's the minimum number of, um, of patterns you need to reach every possible pattern uh, that could be pr provided in the matrix, which would be, I think, m to the n squared? Um, in this case, it's 3 to the 2 squared. Uh, and again, I don't, I don't even think that's a solved problem. I don't think there's a closed form formula for that. Moreover, I don't think people actually know how to compute it, but I'm probably wrong about that. Someone's probably already done it.
refreshing. So I'm going to give you some background on this because it'll waste more of your time on the origin story here. Um, a long time ago, and I want to say 10 years ago, but I think it's even more than that. I think um, uh, 10 years ago, it's 2000, sorry, 12 years ago is 2008, but I, I, I think I was working for something, somebody else. Um, let's see, so is Second Life still a thing? Um, okay, so it was probably, it was, I didn't get it on launch date. Um, so probably 2005-ish, so about 15 years ago. Um, and I actually got paid for this, someone paid me, and they didn't just pay me in Lindens, uh, which is the currency of Second Life, because a lot of people will pay you in Lindens. At the time, it was 300 Lindens to a dollar. Uh, I mean, the Linden Corporation, the people who make Second Life, wouldn't buy it back, but there were exchanges where you could get 300 Lindens, uh, you could trade in for a dollar. Uh, and of course, that would make, you know, someone says, I'll give you 3,000 Lindens, that sounds pretty good, until you realize, it's just 10 bucks. Um, but this guy was actually really nice, and he, he, we negotiated in cash, and I think he paid me, I think he paid me something like $20 an hour, which was, you know, very low, but I wanted to do it because it was a lot of fun to do, and it was sort of a break from my regular boring, sucky job, which I hated, kind of. Didn't really hate it that much, but still, it was a nice break. Okay, um, so that's the origin story of, the, well, okay, right, that's, that's how I got into it. So, Pomodoro time, I'm going to ignore it because it's the first time. Feels like the first time I'm coming up on Pomodoro, so I'm going to skip it. Um, so, the, so the problem with, the, so the issue with Second Life is we wanted to create, um, okay, Second Life has what are known as prims, and for our uh, prims, for which we're going to, for all of us, breathe, for what we're doing are essentially cute. Now, we wanted to use the cubes to create a picture in RGB, just like your monitor does. Um, so if we wanted to create a picture with a resolution of 300 by 200, which is a very low resolution, we would need 60,000 prims, but not really. We'll see why in a minute. And each prim would have a red, blue, or green face. So that would be a 300 by 200 picture. Um, now, I'm going to pretend that prims were expensive, but I think they were actually limited to how many prims you could have. And I don't think even, I think the lower limit was lower than, I mean, the obvious limit would be 65,536, because that's 2 to the power of 16, but I think it was actually much lower than that. I think uh, the number of prims per grid point you could get was much lower, or I'm going to pretend like they cost money the more you wanted, which I think is true, you could upgrade them. Um, so getting 60,000 prims with just each one being either red, green, or blue would have worked perfectly. But we wanted higher resolution. So the question is, um, could, well, first of all, we had cubes have six sides, in case you didn't know that. So we could actually get away with 10,000 cubes and just rotate them uh, so the correct face. Um, actually, could we? Hang on. No, I don't think we could. Nope, my bad. We can't do that. Never mind. Um, that'll come up in the next little part of this, though. Okay. So what if, though, instead of putting a single color on a prim, uh, we put, like, a grid of colors, just like we were talking about? So that way, we would have two by two colors on each prim, so that would give us uh, 600 by 400 resolution um, using colored grids. So that's pretty good. Um, in order to do that, of course, we would have now not each prim wouldn't be one color, but it would be any of it would be any combination of of uh, two uh, two or three colors in a two by two grid. Now, as we saw, there's 81 ways to do that. Um, so we could have created now when you put it, something like a color on a on a prim, it's called a texture, which I think is terminology Minecraft uses as well. Um, so we could have created 81 textures, and we'd be good to go. And um, actually, you know, the, the six cubes, the six um, sides of a cube don't come up here, sorry. So 81 textures, and then we could put which, whichever one we needed on each of the, you know, 60,000 prims. Um, but it turns out textures were expensive too, and very limited. So you would, if you could, you wouldn't want to create all 81 of them. You want to create as few of them as you could. But one thing you could do is if you had a texture, uh, Second Life would allow you to rotate it or flip it, 
and it's considered the same texture. It doesn't take up an extra spot in your list of textures. So the question becomes, what's the smallest number of textures we could use to still get every one of the 81 possible combinations to create an arbitrary picture of the highest resolution? And of course, as you can imagine, um, two by two is one way to do it. You can actually get down to four by four. You can put 16 colors on a single um, prim, obviously because we're using RGB, 16 colors would repeat, but I mean, you could get any pattern of 16 colors on a prim. Um, but again, now that would be, of course, three to the um, 16th power, um, which is a lot of freaking textures. And now that I said it, I've got to compute it. Um, not hard to do though. Holy crap, is that right? That seems high, but okay. Um, I guess we, we are doing with three, so okay. 43 million different possible combinations. Of course, the question there would be, and, and actually, even with reduction, um, even if we reduced it to the bare minimum number of prims, um, texture, sorry, I think it would be too many. So we might have ended up going with three by three. Um, we, we actually never solved it. We actually never, we got close to solving the problem, but we never actually implemented the solution. Uh, so yeah, three to the ninth was 1960. This is actually, I think, where we went with it. Uh, we would need 19,683 textures, but we wouldn't really need that many. We could reduce it down to the minimal number that would generate this 19,683. Okay, so that's the background of why we would want to find the minimum. Turns out, I don't even know what Second Life is doing these days. I've discovered Minecraft or Mine Test, to be more accurate. Um, so really, none of this matters anymore, which is why we're going to spend some time on it. Now, the first thing we're going to do, and I was going to do it in Perl. In fact, I think I might have, I might have this already done. Um, I do not have this already done, so I'm wrong. Um, how do we find all the permutations? Not the permutations, I gotta be very careful. Now, if I say permutations in this stream, I probably mean combinations. Permutations are something different, and they will actually come up, uh, but what I'm talking about is combinations. So how do we find, how do we enumerate all 81 of these, uh, of these uh, combinations? Um, and I'm gonna do this in JavaScript just because uh, I'm an idiot. That's the real reason because I am an idiot. Um, but also because I want to learn some JavaScript. And there's two ways of doing it, the wrong way and the also other wrong way, but that is less wrong. And we'll see, we'll see both of them because I am actually kind of happy about this. We will call this, oh, we will first use this. In theory, we could do this in pure JavaScript um, because we're not going to be using any, and we could even do it in Node.js because it's, but let's go ahead and do it in this because I like this. And we're going to call this Twitch. Com no, we're not going to call it that. Super permutations, which means I'm calling it something I really don't want to call it because it has the word permutations in it, but the word super kind of, um, word super kind of um, takes away from that. Just pretend I, what I said made sense. Okay. So how do we enumerate the possible combinations of R, G, and B. Well, if I know what I'm doing, which I don't, I f even don't remember the syntax. Um, first of all, let me see if this, I'm almost sure this is the wrong syntax. Um, I think this is wrong at so many levels that it should make me weep. Uh, yeah. So what is the syntax for each? Okay, good. We don't have it here. Let me go and fuck with one of these here, because I don't think I need... Oh, my God. Don't want this. And don't want that anymore. Cool. Um, keep this one... I want to keep this one for a reason that must remain mysterious at the time. JavaScript for each syntax. Oh, let me guess. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yep. It is actually R, G, 
GB. I'm gonna get the syntax right then, and we're gonna we're gonna fuck with this. For each something, and I think it's now you do a block. Uh, you do like a block. Let's see. Uh, for each. Oh, okay. Then you apply a function to each. So this is like a a map. Mm. So this, if this works, is going to be the very first thing. Th this will be the very base. Oh, fuck you. What? No, for each is not a function. Oh, fuck. Is it array for each? Because they f they hate me. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. That should be that should be fine. Array one for each. This is like literally that, unless I missed a uh, oh misspelling. Yay, it worked. Okay, there's a small problem with this, but we won't talk about it yet. Um, so I do want to go ahead and download this. That's part of my paranoid feeling that everyone's out to get me, which they are. And I will also, just to annoy them, I will get this one. Oh, need to create a get repo. Um, loading, commit, do whatever you want. Okay, good. So we, that's the very first one. Okay. So now we're going to do this loop because we have four of them, four places, we're going to do this loop four times. And to make life easier, we're going to do this, uh, or this. We're going to make the array singular. And now this is going to where it's going to get really ugly. But that's okay. Okay, for I. Let's see, how do I want to do that? Okay, I. And then, so I think we're gonna we're gonna stop at two here because I just want to kind of show what we're doing. Um, Jesus. Okay. I plus J. And okay, there's close. Okay, this is where it gets gonna get ugly. Close I, and I think that's it. So let's see if this prints out all twofold combinations of R, G, and B, which it should, unless I fuck something up, and I have. Uh, let's see. So this is the NJ. Oh, right, I need to end the for each also. No, I don't. Um, uh, I mean, I've got nested functions going on here. So what this is, is when you get I, RGB for each this, missing, oh, after argument list. Mm, no. Oh, actually, is, if that's going to be it, I'm going to be really annoyed at myself. Yep. Okay. So this is and j and i, and that should be the whole thing. And again, yes, I'm being... In fact, I'm being so ugly. Yeah, let's not do it this way. I mean, I, I, in theory I could, but instead of using for each, let's be non-a-holes and um, uh, let's do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and get... I don't know why it's doing... Because I have modified it, but it's being weird. Let's see if this works. Let's see if life is meaningful. Missing? I do not need a semicolon here, do I? No way. I refuse to believe. Int i equals zero. Actually, I 
don't need an int. Maybe that's what they're complaining about. There we go. So let's go ahead and download this Paranoid-wise and also GitHub it. Uh, obviously, this is stupid. Um, and so, uh, hey, wait. Why you no like me? I change things. Wow. Hang on. Why can't I commit this? Why can't I be committed? There we go. So we will call it stupid, just because we like calling things stupid. Okay. Meanwhile. So the obvious way to do this would be to have four nested for loops, and that's what we're going to do because uh, I want to. So let's check this with two, and then we'll go directly to four after this. So here. Now, I think we could actually do this. Or maybe I'm wrong. I think we can actually do just RGB I, RGB J with a comma, because I think it'll combine those two automatically. I don't think we need to do anything more fancy than that. And I, and J, and I. Uh, oh, that was fun. Okay. I. No, eh, you know what? I would. I don't want a space between them. So let's do this. There we go. Those are um, the nine ways, three squared, that you can combine two letters. And again, this is actually the wrong way of doing it. And partly because we're going to run the loop variables. Well, actually we wouldn't. We could say i1, i2, i3, i4. So that, that is not the real problem. Um, we have an infinite number of variables. That That's not what really makes us the bad way. Okay, so now... Let's get rid of these. We'll close them off later. Console log. And we're not going to do much more with this, so we, you know, obviously console log is not what we would do with this. Ultimately, we would use it in some way. One, two, three, typo, four. If this works, we will go ahead, bun defined. Yep, that's because I wanted to do that. RGBI, RGBJ, RG, yep, I messed that up. Don't want that there. Okay. Um, and this should be, we, I mean, we're not going to count them all, but this should be the 81 ways you can combine R, G, and B for a four-letter string. And this is where we now download this, because it's the wrong way, and GitHub it, and we'll even call it the wrong way. Push it. I don't even know where they're getting pushed, by the way, in case you, in case you think. Uh, that's why I don't trust the Git, because I don't really know where it is. Okay. So now, why is this the wrong way? Um, I don't think there's anyone in chat. Let me check. Let me let me annoy the people in chat. I don't think there is anyone there, though. Hello, Grafordia, who I think may be a, uh, a, a bot. But maybe not. I'm not accusing you of being a bot. Um, so why is this the wrong way? Well, suppose we decided to go with a 3x3 three three grid instead of a 2x2 two two grid. That would be nine different uh, spots you could fill. So could you create a for loop that's nine levels deep? Yes, you could, but you would have to modify this code. You could not use consistent code because, unless you did something like code that writes other code, which gets insanely complicated. Um, so that is, um, uh, so that, that would not be necessarily a good, a good way of doing this because if you went to four by four, you would have to create a 16 nested loop. So is there an alternative to this? Which, well, hopefully yes, because I'm, I'm claiming there is. So let's go ahead and comment this code out. So the way, the way to do this, by the way, if these were permutations, it would be much harder. But it turns out there's 81 of these. And it, you know the question is, do we know anything about um, I equals zero? 
Now, in this case, well, actually, can we do this? Let's see. Now, we would know the things that we're doing, and the, um, I guess we'll call it the number of squares, the number of grid points is four. So here, we know they're going to be RGB length to the squ Um. Yes, I could in theory call this two for the length of the grid and just square it, but let's go ahead and do this. Um, so this is going to be very uninteresting, because it's just going to show us that there's 81 of them, uh, which there are. Or, it's going to get confused. Oh, shit, hang on. Stop it! Stop. Oh! Yeah, for some reason I kind of screwed that up somehow. RGB, I think I need parentheses here. I mean, it's otherwise it's correct, but let's, this should only print out to 81. RGB length is 3 to the 4th is 81. So, I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, so that's okay. I might have to reload. Come on. Okay, let's reload. Leave. Be gone with this page. It is Pomodoro time. I'll be back in two and two. And we're almost back. And we're back. Okay, let's see how much I lost in that reload. Oh! Okay, so this should be fine. This is just count to 81. I am kind of wondering what's going on here. I'm going to wait this one out for a couple more minutes here. Um, but even if this doesn't mean power, which may be the issue... Um, okay, now we're probably going to have to reload again. Yep, let's do that. Cool. Let's shift reload that. Well, we should just be able to do plain reload. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I think it just, yeah, it's going to reload by itself, or it's taking one of my... Why is it printing out so many freaking numbers? Does the tilde operator... Can you stop it? Wow. And again, if you you know, uh, you might think uh, I do advise you if you're if you're if you're in the mood to break stuff, you, this is perfectly fine. Um, now it doesn't have a JavaScript doesn't have a die command, but it, when it runs across something that it can't parse, it'll stop. So this will allow us to do figure out what the hell's going on here. First, let's figure out what this value is. Again, you think it's like star star, but let's see what the hell this value actually is. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. But what did it print out before that? Seven. That's not too bad. So this would be i equals zero to seven. 
I mean, w uh, now let's put it in parentheses. This should not be a major issue. Still printing out seven. Let me, because I'm getting kind of annoyed by the uh, intentionally using a fake die. Let's see what this does. Yeah, seven. Why the hell? Now, so what I meant was star, star, obviously, but and this is 81. Should be. Yep. So why is it having so much trouble counting to 81? I mean, it could be this replit is doing something stupid, because that's kind of their thing. To offer a free service that sucks so much that no one can use it. I'm just kidding, replit people. Okay. Now there's a slight... No, this is fine. A 0 to 81... 0 to 80, because we're including both endpoints, is 81 different permutations. So how is that helpful to us? Well, if you were to look at these in base 3, you would notice that basically the base 3, it, as a four-digit number, will give us um, the permutation. So 0 would be R, 1 would be G, B would be, 2 would be B. And of course in base 3, 0, 1, and 2 are the only three numbers we have. So we could try to use a something that converts to base 3, but there's probably an easier way. Um, so first, I think we do let... We're going to use a temporary variable, and we're going to divide it by... We're going to mod it by 3 and divide it by 3 repeatedly. Um, or are we? Um, and the number of times we're going to do that is basically for the number of squares, because that's what we're trying to get out of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, this should be pretty easy, actually. Okay, so the, um, we can't change i itself, because it's, it's a loop variable. So the very first thing we're going to look at is the, um, is the last digit, which is going to be temp mod 3. Um, for right now, let's just console log it. Uh, and then we want, the next time around, we're going to want the next digit, so we're going to say, we're going to divide temp by 3, this is integer division, so now we have the next digit. So this should give us, I'm hesitant, in theory, this should give us the combinations, but in some really weird way. Uh, let's just see what the hell this does. Yep. Kind of saw that coming, actually. Um, every language in the world... Yeah, just when you need integer division, uh, you don't get it. So... I mean, we could we could we could fix this by using floor or whatever. Um, okay, maybe there's not a maybe it doesn't have a built-in integer division. Um, yep, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna floor it. It's gonna floor it, man. Okay, which means we can't use this little. All right, an ugliness of JavaScript. One of the few times, 99% of the time, I would want not. I do would not want integer division, but one time I do. I force JavaScript just somehow manage to do everything wrong. Okay, let's see what this does. Okay, that wasn't very instructive. Um, I mean, we could do console log. This would be a little bit more instructive. But still won't really work really well because uh, we're getting new lines where we don't want them. Okay. Um, okay, so now we could look for, just to waste our time, console log without the new line. In fact, that's one of the top searches. Um, and, okay. Oh, fuck. No way. Ooh. Shiny. Wait. Oh, 
Oh, this is an example of what you want. I would say there's no way console log does that. Um, oh, that's so he has a different problem, but oh, I hate doing this. This looks so much worse. But, you know, what the hell? Now there's going to be an issue, a different issue here with this. I like the way the document, the tooltip is moving to the left. This is going to smack them all together, but we can fix that part. Oh good, we don't have that. Let's see if we have stood out. Oh shit, this isn't the stood out, is it? This is actually a console. So console right maybe should do that. No, of course it's not. Can we just do right? I keep forgetting we're not actually on a console. We're we're not actually we don't actually have a stud out here. So let's just do this. Um, we can fix this though. It's not hard. Um. And then all we have to do here is say. It doesn't really matter which order we do this in as long as we're consistent. So we can do this, this, and then here. And I'm going to save this because it's not really that clever, but I think it's clever. And then it doesn't work. Yep, we don't need that parentheses there anymore. And there we hopefully have it. The 81 permutations again, but this time printed without having to have four for loop. Four for, I like saying that. Four nested for loops. Break, the word nested breaks it up a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and download this, become paranoid, and also save it to Git just to waste somebody's space. Just waste your space. Okay. And by the way, some people have called me a waste of space, so that kind of works out really well. Very, uh, very an analogous. Okay. So. This actually still... Okay, hang on. Sorry. Things keep popping up telling me that I have more important things to do in life, and I do not. Now, this just sort of prints them out. Now, what if we wanted to get... Um, get? We could not make this a function that actually, you know, for any um, array and any number of squares gives you every permutation. I don't know if we would necessarily want to do that... I mean, we will at some point need to do that, but it, but but the the second thing we need to look at is um, <laughs> much harder, uh, and it's not going to be in JavaScript. The second thing we're going to look at is um, let's just confuse the hell out of people. It's called S four, uh, which of course sounds like something you would use to sell a car, but it's actually the permutation group on four elements. So why the hell do we care about this? Well, because um, let's say our elements just call them one, two, three, and four. Now remember, we only have three things. So in this case, two might be filled with a G, and three might be filled with a G. We're not saying these are separate elements. We're just going to number them: uh, one, two, three, four. And now we're going to ask um, w from this one, two, three, four pattern. Which other patterns can we reach through rotation and flipping? Um, and a rotate. Okay, so now I'm going to actually have to do permutation theory, and I'm, I think I'm going to have to do it without explaining all of it because I'm going to jump right into it a, a little bit. So rotating everything to the right, one goes to two, two goes to three, three goes to four, and four goes back to one. This is how we write this rotation in permutation theory. Um, this is a right rotation. Everything moves to the right. But that we're not we're allowed to do more than just that. We're allowed to not only flip, we can right rotate twice. Um, so we can compose um, right rotations uh, and, and left rotations, but we don't need to do that. So now the question is, um, you know, if we do two rotations, three rotations, four rotations will get us back to where we were. But, you know, we can compose right rotations with each other. Um, and then we can also do flips, and then we can combine right rotations with flips. And what I'm trying to be able to build up to here, and I'm not doing a good job of, is... Where did my maximum manual go? Crap. 
Well, that's what I get for deleting too much stuff. Um, I want my Maxima. The question is, can Maxima help me with this? Um, and if it can't, it's not a huge deal if it can't, but Maxima, I have a, I have a local... Yeah. Score one for the boy. Or not. Or girls. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm gonna say racist. I'm not racist, but I'm not sexist either. So now we see if we have anything here for permutations, combinatorics. Uh, which is a song, by the way, from Square One TV. Um, which you might want to look at. Which might actually be on my blog, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, so this is combinatorics. And apply cycles, okay. Um... Permutes the list of applying the list of cycles CL. That sounds kind of like what we want, actually, but... Permutes the list or set L by applying... But I get the feeling this just uh, applies them in order. I don't think it applies, like, every possible combination of them. Um... Okay. returns the permutation as a product of cycles. Okay. Ooh. So now we're getting into some interesting stuff. So now let's go ahead and look at this on in Xterm, if we can find it, which we usually cannot. All right, so let's go ahead and bring up... In this case, we'll just bring up R maxima raw. We don't need to bring up um, with a file yet. Um, although if this gets interesting enough, we will create a file for it which probably means we will. Uh, let's see. Apply, permutes for applying the list of cycles. Um, okay. And we might th make things a little bit easier by using A, B, C, D uh, instead of 1, 2, 3, 4 because uh, maybe we won't actually. Um... Let's not do that. Let's not do cycle P. What? Permutation as a product of cycle. Okay, let's do this one. Let's, let's do a little bit of work with this one. We'll see how ugly this is. Okay, so one way to me mess up the... Um, hey, do I need to do use comment? I do need to do that, don't I? Hang on. Load combinatorics. And I will not put... A, I'll put a semicolon because I want to see what magic happens. that I didn't want to see. Um, let's see if perm cycles is a function. Does not appear to be. Okay. Much badness has happened. Um, package combinatorics. Um, the only thing I can think of is I spelled it wrong, but I mean, I cut and pasted. Shouldn't, shouldn't be an issue. Nope, don't have it. Let's see what's going on here. I thought I had everything. Um, that's not going to help. Okay. Alrighty, so why do I not have... Combinatorics. Um, actually, I guess this is a good time to look to see which um, which packages I do have. So let's look at the um, this thing here, motherfucker. Um, okay. I mean, this is a confusing list, but I mean, basically. Uh, we're just going to be in user share maxima 5.41 dir dir share combinatorics read me oh well this this might be the clue here um 
version of permutation function, but which are suspended by permutation functions in maxima. Well, that's kind of stupid. Permutation, both of which were superseded by a function in maxima source and set list, which presumably means that they're built into the goddamn thing. So I'm not happy. But let's go ahead and apply, per let's just do this. See if, well, without the that. Maybe if you do it with the right number of arguments, it'll actually work. I don't think it will, but. Yeah. So. So there does seem to be some knowledge of permutation. Mm, is it decomposed permutation? That's not... Okay, first of all, you should not be documenting functions you're not going to implement anymore. So you suck. Um, perm cycles, perm decomp. Let's see. I, I, get, I mean, obviously, from what I'm looking at, it looks like all of these functions have gone fucked up. All right, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. Uh, got distracted by email, but I'm going to ignore it. Okay, so let's see if they have another decomposition function. That's decomposition of a matrix. Um, okay. Or let's just ask the question of our good friend Google. Uh, what the fuck happened to perm? What the hell was it? I guess we could actually. We could actually just ask what the hell happened to the combinatorics perm cycles. We'll just ask that one specifically. And. And then that didn't help. That didn't help at all. Okay, let's try this again. Combinatorics package maxima. That still doesn't look really good. Um.
Yeah, that's not helpful. Um, jump onto two versions of a permutation function was superseded by the permutation function that I have no idea what the hell it does. So that's always nice. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, let's look at for let's look for the word permutation in the in the in the documentation. But I'm not happy about this. Permutation, permit comp, perm inverse. The lexical that that's good stuff actually. Yeah, this is gonna be great if we ever get out of the freaking uh, common torques package. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yep, still in the common torques package. All right, let's go all the way back to the beginning and see where the uh, word permutations first shows up. Um. Okay, I mean that's, that's something here. So give me the perm. You. By the way, the only reason um, I'll go ahead and get out of this. The only reason perm cycles and perm decomp are showing up is because I tried to use them. They don't really exist. Permutations. What are the permutations of 1, 2, 3, 4? There are 24 of them. Please show them to me. Zuh. Yay. That wasn't that helpful. Okay, but let's keep going. Oh, did I use the wrong function? Wow. Let's do that again. Permut. Wow. Let's break maxima. Okay. All right. Not looking too good here. Now, permutations are a group. Okay, that... Very strange here. Permutations defined permut and permutation, so this is good. We don't need combinatorics for this. Um, Sterling. Okay. Okay. So the big, big problem we're going to have here is this package doesn't actually exist. Um, all right, so if we go to here and now look for the permutations after that point. Um, oh, hang on. This might be where we're going to go with this. Functions and variables for set, add join, union, the bell number, cardinality, partition project, just join. Now sets are unordered, so this is kind of, um, kind of stupid. Element P, MTP, equivalence classes. Oh, this is kind of what we want. We actually want to see um, permutations that are equivalent in the sense you can get from one to the other through rotations and flips. Um, but something tells me this is not what that's going to do. Every extremal subset. Wow. Latin. Full listify, full setify, identity. This is good stuff here, but I'm not sure we could use cron delta. You know, the cron cron delta function. Listify makes that Mobius multinomial coefficient. Number of partitions, distinct partition set permutations. Okay, so we're, we're kind of there. Power set. Random permutation. Difference set equal P setify. Okay, come on. We need something a little bit better. Set partitions. Uh, we need a, like a compose or a decompose for Sterling 1, Sterling 2, subset A, okay. Symmetric difference, union, very basic. Okay. So I'm not happy. Um, all 
So I guess the other question asks, what the hell is the version number we're using here? Oh, I guess the other question asks is, are maxima not the same thing as maxima? So the question is, if we use maxima, which doesn't have a history function because it sucks, uh, can we load combinatorics? If we can, sorry, I turned that here. Load combinator combina combinatorics. Um, okay, package combinatorics. Yada yada yada. Oh, okay, well, that actually makes sense. Okay, so let's try to load that. I mean, I don't think it's going to work because it's not the right. Yeah. Um, so we found one place where, and let's see what this is. This is probably another list of directories where you, we could hope to find a function. Yeah. Yep. So now let's go stupid on it. Let's look for the word apply cycles anywhere in anything that's in, um, where are we here? We're in this directory. We can go one level higher. It's not going to matter though. Um, ignoring case, recursively, show me the list of files that contain apply cycles in this directory. And there are none. Okay, cool. Um, let me see if there's any other directory. I don't think there are going to be any other directories here that are going to look like Maxima. Okay. So now, let's just ask Google for apply cycles. This may be Maxima specific. Um, okay. And we will put in Maxima, although we could also put in Maxima, the other spelling. Okay, we're down to f five results, by the way. So the question is, have I, am I using the wrong version of the manual? Which I could be, um, because apparently also I overwrote. So this is the Maxima 542.0 manual. Um, and the version of Mathematica I'm running is, dun, 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 I don't know if this will work, 541.0. Oh. oh. Um, well, that is, that is different. Um, so did I install this um, using yum? I could have could have sworn I I actually can't swear anything. I, I totally forget. Uh, actually, say maxima. Uh, maybe I did. Um. All right, well, give me the info on whether we have Maxima installed. Yep, we do. Um, now, the, the, the chance that it's going to have an updated version is essentially zero. Oh. Now, it's probably going to say you have the latest version already, lying piece of shit. But I'll wait for it to actually say that before we go and find the 540. I didn't realize it was still being updated, but I guess it is. And now, of course, the correct thing to do would be get version 542.0 so it matches the manual. We're going to follow the standard process of getting the latest version, so now our manual will be behind our binary. So we should always have, like, one behind the other if possible. Um... Should not be going this slow, but then again, there's a lot of things that shouldn't be happening. So these are the Apple rep rep repositories that are have some cool stuff in them. So okay, good update. Crap. I guess I actually need to. Um, I think maybe this is updating now. So this might be what it wants me to do. Um, and I can't really install Yum Cron because, uh, I mean, unless we use Anacron because 
we can't really get jobs to run regularly on this machine because it's not up 24 hours a day. Okay. This is not fun. Okay, here we go. Yep. So let's do this. Let's update our... Oh, it's going to tell me I need root access. Come on, just tell me I need root access. I don't want to interrupt it because it could be... Well, actually, let's go ahead and interrupt it. Let's do that. Okay, and then we'll try it again, but I get the feeling we're going to have to compile it ourselves because... Um, there might not be version 5.42 in the... Um, in the YUM repositories I'm looking in, which sucks, but um, a lot of things in life suck. And certainly, you know, I'm healthy and I don't have, uh, not st I, mean, I might actually be starving literally in just a few seconds, but that's a different kind of starving. So I guess I should be overall happy. I'm trying to kill time until this finishes doing what it's doing. Anyone in chat want to say hello? Let's see if there is anyone in chat. We're about to expose you. Uh, nope. Still just Grafordia, which I'm pretty sure we have to go find out. It is either a bot or whatever. Okay. So now. Yep. Alright. So now. I think it was maxima.org, although it could be the other spelling, but let's let's go here. Let's go straight to the forums, which I don't want. Uh, unless this is a totally different Maxima. Um, oh, this is the um, Maxima the Vehicle. So that's always good fun. Let's see if it's over here. Oh, 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 oh. Adult Group Travel in Hamilton. Oh, okay, that's not it either. Um, maybe we should just search for it. Because it says adult, I was worried that it might get something here. Maximus. Oh, it's at SourceForge. Okay. Um. Okay. I guess they do actually. I guess they do actually have an updated version. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit here. That's not what I want. Um. Let's see if there's any changes that involve combinatorics, because that is kind of what I am... Okay, let's go back to a version... Let's see if version 42's change log has... Um, oh, 42 too. They didn't even bother to do a 42. Wait, so I have a manual for a version that doesn't exist. I am awesome. All right. Aha! Okay, so we, we do have a combinatorics added in version 42. Let's go ahead and do version 43. Um, I like where it says download this file, because you think that's the one you need, but of course it is not. Um, always make it impossible for people to download what you're going to do. This is great, this is marvelous, so I can't, I'm not going to tell you how to get it. Um... Windows installer, no. Oh, good, this is the diff. This is still not what we actually want. Um, okay, let's go back over here. Okay, here we are. Download. That's not too bad. Oh, cool! Source, I get the RPM. That's what I actually want. And this is the delay, so you can hate... SourceForge without in any way ever, um, you know, contributing to them or, I mean, giving them money. So that always helps when you when you kind of have this sort of um, um, delay that just annoys users and does nothing else. So now we have to be a little bit careful here because we will have conflicting versions otherwise. Um, so 
first we need to remove the existing version and that should be all fine I, I'm, I'm gonna bet anything that this is this RPM install is gonna fail for some reason I just know it it's too easy it's gonna give me some broken dependencies No, that was too easy. Okay. Now. Yep. It, no, there's no R maxima. Oh, cool. Um, there's actually not even a... Oh, that installs the source. Can I... Can I get the binaries? Uh, which I shouldn't... I mean, that's... If it's it's okay if I can't. Um, oh man! All right, Pomodoro time. I'm also going to check my blood sugar because I might be going hypoglycemic. So I'll be back in two and two, or a little bit longer than two and two. Okay, we are almost back, but we're not going to come back, actually. Um, my blood sugar isn't, like, super low, but it is low enough that I need to stop streaming and start eating. Once I start eating, I never stop. It's like Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. Except Pringles are not good because they have rice flour in them. All right, thank you for watching the stream. I'm going to call it for now. We will return trying to install Maxima uh, and, uh, and use Combinatorics. Maybe. Or something else.